Geometry Chapter 1, Section 2. We are going to do construction. This construction is for copying a segment. So the first thing you got to do is you start with your segment that you've got here. That's my red one. And then I'm going to take um, my pencil, or in this case I'm just going to grab another segment, and I'm going to make a line. And you would like to make that line with your pencil. Then you can dra grab a compass. Anytime you're talking construction, you're talking construction with a compass. So we are going to open our compass and we're going to put one end on one of my ends and put the other end on the other part of my segment. So now my compass is the exact same length as my segment. Next I'm going to take a point and I'm going to put a point on my line and I can call that point P if I want. It doesn't really matter what I call that. If I want to talk about my original uh, segment up here, I can call this X and I can call this Y. So I'm copying X, Y onto this line containing point P. Uh, once I've got my compass at the exact right width, I'm going to take it. I'm going to put my point on my point and then I can take my compass and draw an arc. And once I draw my arc, I can just put another point and put my other point right here at the intersection. And now this segment here, and if I label that Q so that I've got something to talk about, so PQ would be congruent to XY. So that's how you copy a segment. If I want to draw one twice as long, I'm going to grab and I'm going to draw a line. Remember lines have arrows on both ends. So draw my line. Put my point P on there again. So here's my point P. And this one was x, y, right? So I'm going to take this, and this was x, and this was y. Okay. So I'm going to take segment x, y, and I'm going to copy it onto this segment, to this line here that contains point P. So first thing again, remember, it was to take and put my compass at the same width as my segment. Once it's the same width as my segment, then I can a little bit off here. It's going to be as close as I'm going to get with this one. I'm going to take it over here, and I'm going to draw my arc. And since I want to make it twice as long, I can then take at the intersection, which there's my intersection, and we can call that Q still. Or I put my compass at the intersection here. Uh, order, bring to front. Okay. Right at the intersection. I can then make another arc. And I can label that one. Control C. And so P to R would be twice as long as X to Y because I just hatched off two of those. So that's a construction. And this one was a construction for making it the a copy of the segment. You just make your compass the same width, put your point on P and make an arc and label the intersection Q. And so P, Q, so X, Y would be congruent to, let me grab congruent to, congruent to, PQ. Okay, so that's a copy. And on this one, if I take two times the length of XY, I should be equal to, I should be the same measure as congruent, same measure as P to R. So twice the length of XY should be the measure of P to R. Okay. 